association with the Carphone Telecommunications Group. Everyone, Belmore Sports Ground, the home of the Bulldogs, is our venue for this top of the ladder clash. Cronulla are undefeated to date with wins over the Gold Coast, South St George in Canberra. Canterbury are on six points. They suffered just one loss. That was at the hands of St George. There have been some late changes to both teams, so let's look at Canterbury firstly with David Fordham. Thank you, Billy. 1989 was the only year in the 80s that the Bulldogs failed to produce an Australian representative. 1990 is a kangaroo tour year, and if no coincidence, their improved form this year has been inspired by their 86 kangaroos, Terry Lamb, Paul Langmack, and second rower, Paul Dunn. They all have their eyes set on another trip to the old art later this year. And the tough man up front, David Gillespie, remembers the trip at 86 he missed through injury. One change in the Bulldogs lineup, which beat Illawarra last weekend, Dean Pay out of the front row, allowing former Parramatta junior Mitch Newton to make his first grade debut. The Bulldogs have enjoyed a Belmore sports ground dominance over the Sharks. Cronulla's last win here was back in 1974-84. All right, David Wright takes us down through the Cronulla team. Thanks, Billy. And Cronulla have been forced to make an important change to the side that has basically remained intact through their undefeated run of four Winfield Cup matches. Form forward Danny Lee has a bruised sternum and is replaced by Michael Porter, who goes to hooker with Luke Massey moving into the front row. And in the positional switch, Diamond and Staines interchange. Michael Speechley has recovered from a hand injury to take his place in one of the classiest back lines in the business. There's our referee for today. Eddie Waters got this match. So he's well and truly stamping himself as one of the top referees in the Sydney comp. Just about ready for the kickoff. Matter of fact, Eddie Ward blows his whistle now. Cronulla are about to kick off and send a deep, of course, down into Canterbury Territory. And from the kickoff, it'll be taken there by Paul Langmack. Langmack brings it up to just short of the quarter line. Well, a couple of changes here, David Wright. Um, probably uh, might just uh, upset uh, Cronulla a little bit, but they've been going particularly well. They had Bill Ness indication just how strong they are in the defensive department, but the conditions today are going to play a very important part. Uh, it's been uh, raining reasonably heavily here in uh, the last hour or so, and uh, things will be pretty slippery. All right, that's Gillespie taking it up. Put down about 30 metres out now from the Canterbury line. Immediately back to Farrah. Farrah with a kick underneath it. Not the best. Almost cleaned up the referee. He'll be taken back there by Porter. And Porter's bowled over about eight metres inside the Canterbury territory. And a penalty coming up.